It has been another week of dramatic market action, and I don't know about you, but it's kind of a lot to take in. So I've decided that on this Friday afternoon into the close, your own personal HEMA closing bell, if you will, we are going to look at the NQ futures current front month contract, September 23, and look at it from a top-down perspective on timeframes, weekly to daily to 120 minute. So I'm HEMA ready. I use price, time, and momentum to boost my trading and that of my tribes. So let's get to it. Now, almost any chart you ever see me analyze here on my YouTube channel, in our coaching sessions and more, will have two things. One is my RSI Power Zones indicator down below. It's my favorite momentum indicator. And the other is price action plotted in Japanese candlesticks. I have my own take on candlesticks that helps me uncover key levels, as I call them my GAN candlesticks, if you will. What I'm gonna do here now is just do a couple minutes of analysis so that, there we go, there's the market closing so that we can be kind of having a head start for what might occur next week. Okay, so setting aside the fundamentals, which are definitely driving things, let's just look at the actual action, all right? So my weekly candle now just finished, right? Happened to capture the moment. And we can now look at, well, how did this week unfold versus last week? We had a lower high, lower low, and we returned again on the NASDAQ front month futures to close, very close to this key low from June 9th. So I'm gonna save that as a support and uh, go from there. I'm also gonna use my little hack on fibs. I did another video about this recently that shows how I use Fibonacci levels to uncover support and resistance, okay? So you can see that we tested 14.647.25, okay? Making a low, not even 40 points below it before recovering on the session for Friday. And we'll see more of that on the daily chart. Our side power zones are not telling us any really new information. They're still working off this bull bear RSI face off that happened back here into the end of July and are kind of just in a in a flow downwards. So now let's change that to the daily chart. So I'm simply taking the same blank weekly chart and changing to the daily. Now I analyze NQ futures live for my students twice a week, meaning fresh right before the open in my skinny on the market service but I'm just taking a blank chart and working down. Okay, these are not the same charts I would use for those reports, which have a lot more annotations. Coming to the daily chart. All right, I just wanna get this price action down lower a little so I can kind of uh, get to the details. This set of Fibonacci's that I said I hacked, right? That was from the weekly chart. Now I want to use another set to hone in on a key daily support level. So I'm just gonna make this a pink of a, of a different weight. Okay, so I'm gonna just reduce the thickness of the line. And now I know that the thinner line is daily versus the weekly. In fact, I'll make the weekly thickness three. I'll make the daily thickness two. So when I go the 120 minute, that can be thickness one, all right? For upside in terms of potential rebounds and resistance, it would be the same idea. We're on the daily chart so I'm going to do a thickness two line, which this should already be. Yep. I use blue for resistance and there we go. So I'm going to take all this noise and using my methods that are my tried and true for the past 23 plus years now, I'm honing in on those key price floors and price ceilings. RSI power zones on the daily chart is not telling us anything new. It's just heading back toward that bear support power zone. We do have, now this is a futures uh, uh, contract chart. So that closing bell was for the regular stock market hours. The futures chart is gonna close in about 15 minutes here. But still you can see that unless something dramatic happens, the daily bar here is getting ready to uh, close with a very narrow range. This is a hammer candle. And into Monday's analysis, I will apply new data analysis to that if that's how that bar lands. All right, now let's take all of this down to the 120 minute time frame. So that's a custom time frame, minutes, 120. And I'm gonna pick something crazy like 200 days back so I just capture all my different annotations, okay? Just gonna take a moment to load and here it is. So now we're looking at the 120 minute chart of the NQ futures the thickest line is from the weekly chart. The next thickest line, 
right? Slightly narrows from the daily chart. Now we'll add analysis from the 120 minute chart. So for support, I'm not going to go way back on the chart to the 120 minute levels. In this venture that we are on the way down, I'm going to use the daily and weekly levels as my key supports, but I am going to hone in on resistance levels. So when I look, I can see that we had a high here that we broke above. So that's no longer key resistance. We have one here and that can be that weight number one to represent the intraday. Can you guys see how using different thickness weights of lines, whether they're dashed like mine, solid, dotted, doesn't matter, how it helps you kind of automatically remember the importance of the level, right? When we see the thick level, we know it's from the weekly chart. When we see the medium, we know it's from the daily. And when we see the thinnest, like this one here, we know it's from the intraday. This is something I'm doing to demonstrate to you. This is not how I analyze my own charts because it takes extra time to make those changes. But if you're newer to trading, this might be a way for you to help depict different time frame analysis levels without confusing what's from what time frame. Okay. All right. So with all of this in motion, here's what I'm seeing. So I'm going to analyze the RSI power zones levels for a moment. All right. I'm seeing the RSI power zones are continuing lower. They have lifted from their support. So offered some relief, but we're still within the context of this move lower. So this move lower on price has a comparable move lower on momentum. Now, I'm going to hack my Fibonacci retracements a different way where I'm going to bring in what I call GAN retracement. So I get into this more in my GAN book. I'm going to pick like a different color blue just so it stands out. And now what I've done, I'm going to make that thickness one so that I know it's from the 120 minute chart. Let's make it a little darker color so you guys can see it more easily. All right. Got to dig for a little darker color here. Here we go. That's a little bit more intense. There we go. Now you can see that we have retraced 25% of the fall from 15,335. So if this recovery continues in the Globex hours on Sunday, in the next 10 minutes here, into Monday morning, whenever it is, we can see that the next barrier of resistance, okay, that'd be blue lines, is here between about 14.881 and 14.908. Then there's a cluster 14963 to 14973. Okay, I'm rounding to whole number. Then there's another cluster that actually coincides with this old bottom. That's a key GAN level. I'm going to move the label out of the way so you can read more easily. At 15020, 15018. Okay, so you can see the stair step of resistance levels. On the other hand, if we don't have this recovery continue, again, just based on the current price action, then the pink lines beneath today's low, those are showing the next key support levels. So this is just an outline from scratch of going from weekly to daily to an intraday chart. Again, if you would want my take on the NQ futures, I do this intraday up to date with more analysis and annotations in the skinny in the markets. Another important reason to look at the NQ futures guys or the QQQs or anything to do with the tech world is because it generally, not always, but generally leads what the S&P markets do. So even though I'm not day trading the NQ futures, I am using them to guide my analysis and trading of the e-mini S&P 500 futures, which is my baby. All right, with that, let's all go get some good rest this weekend and I'll catch you next time.